Solana has been one of the best performing cryptos of 2023. It's up over 350% for the year. We're seeing it perform very well over the last two weeks. And on top of this, we're seeing mainstream finance start to talk about it as well. When Kathy Wood and ARK Invest came out recently on a CNBC interview and said that she believes it's even better than Ethereum. So today's video, I want to talk about what's going on with Solana, my thoughts on it, why it's up as of recently, and also address a few key things with the overall crypto market that you need to be aware of, and even a new investment in a meme coin I have had. So when we're looking at the overall crypto market, we can see it's sitting at a $1.39 trillion market cap. In addition to this, we're seeing the Crypto Fear and Greed Index sit at right at 72, which is in the greed territory. This is a good sign if you're an investor because ultimately it's saying, look, you're not too late. We've seen a massive rally throughout 2023. We've seen Bitcoin go from $15,000 per coin to over $35,000 per coin. But despite all this, we're not in a FOMO stage just yet where people are pouring money nonstop into the crypto space. That's more so when you get into the extreme greed territory. So I'm expecting that to happen leading up into the 2024 having, you know, early 2024, when you start seeing maybe a Bitcoin ETF approval, maybe an Ethereum ETF approval, when you start seeing that Bitcoin having. So being in the greed territory is exactly where I like to see us, especially considering that we've had this rally, but it's not that we are overbought just yet. In addition to this, when you're looking at Bitcoin and Ethereum, we're seeing that they're in their ranges of right around $36,000 per coin for Bitcoin and $2,000 for Ethereum. That's been right where we've been at for the last few weeks. If you're looking at Bitcoin in terms of technicals, there's two key levels. First is that you need to be looking at 37500 This is acted as a very crucial level for Bitcoin over the last few market cycles. Back in January of 2022, we saw that Bitcoin was bouncing off this level for a few months before it officially broke below and it acted as a very key level of support again back in you know july of 2021 very much of the same thing so right now if we want to see bitcoin rally and take that next leg of the bull market i'd like to see bitcoin break above 37,500 on a weekly candle and close above it if we don't i'm pretty much expecting that we will see a retest of 31,500 before we continue our way you know continue grinding higher in addition to this i want to talk about things i've been doing with meme coins because while we've seen bitcoin rally we've started to see a lot of money come back into meme coins in particular i made an investment into a project called hee hee recently I talked about it in a video a, about a month ago, and I told you I would be investing in it. And since then, they've been able to raise now and officially surpass the $8 million mark, which is a massive milestone for any project, let alone a meme coin still in pre-sale. So seeing all of this support for this project so far made me want to double down on my position. And if you haven't bought so already, it's very simple to do. You just do it directly on their website. They brand themselves as the People's Meme Pikachu. And if you want to buy it, you can see that their pre-sale price is significantly lower than where they're going to list it at, and the pre-sale price is just going to continue to increase over time. But you just need to connect your wallet. Um, you could do it like with ETH, USDT, USDC, basically anything. I'm just going to do ETH. You click on you know however much you want to buy. You click buy now, and then you need to go ahead and verify the transaction in your wallet. So then it's going to pop up on your wallet saying, do you approve the transaction? You click approve, and you're good to go. With Hee Hee, a few things stand out is that it is one of the strongest growing memes on Twitter and on social media. There's 4 million impressions every single month. They have over 1 million community members across all social media platforms, and they have over 500,000 um, followers on Twitter. In addition to this, you can see that Elon Musk has personally tweeted about the project before. He tweeted about it back in December of 2020 when he said, hee hee, this project didn't exist at the time, but he, the, he used the Pikachu meme, he used the words, and this is where the project was originally birthed. Last thing I do want to go over with hee hee is they are trying to become a $5, million, $5 billion crypto crypto, the first ever $5 billion um, meme coin. We've never seen it happen. And they're doing this through massive partnerships, token listings, and having this exclusive gated community contact, which they talk about in their roadmap. And they're even doing a massive giveaway where they're giving away $336,660 to their holders. They're giving this and splitting it between 666 lucky holders. So there's a lot going on with this project. And I did recently increase my investment in it because of what has the success they've had in their pre-seal because of what's been going on with their audit and how they have had 
an audit by Certic that is undergoing. I'll give you guys results on that when it comes out. But this project has just been making some major moves. And with a lot of money switching from Bitcoin into altcoins and meme coins, this is one that I did want to double down on. Now let's talk about though what's going on with Ethereum before we get into Solana. So recently, BlackRock filed S1 form for a spot Ethereum ETF. This is a big deal because ultimately, BlackRock had filed um, for a Bitcoin spot ETF a little while ago, a few weeks ago. BlackRock is the world's largest asset manager and seeing that they are getting into Bitcoin ETFs, into Ethereum ETFs, getting more involved in the crypto space is something that you definitely want to see as an investor because it's next to guaranteed that we are going to see a Bitcoin ETF approved, a spot Bitcoin ETF approved in the next few months. If it's not before the end of 2023, it's very, very likely that we're going to see it in 2024. The chances of it happening are close to 100%. You ask any single asset manager, ask any single analyst, the chances and expected percentage of one pound passing is close to 100%. So this is something that's very exciting to see, not only for Bitcoin, Ethereum, but just for the entire crypto market. Now let's talk about what's going on with Solana. So if we're looking at Solana, we can see that Solana is up around 2% over the last day, just at $60 per coin. If you look over the last year, Solana is up over 350%. It was trading below $10 per coin just in January of 2023. At the very start of this year, the reason why we have seen it continue to rally has been for a few main things. So recently, this massive exponential push from just the last month, where we've seen over a three X return is one of the reasons because we've seen Solana have a very significant increase in TVL. So if you look at the one month increase of TVL, total value locked, we see that it is the highest out of every single other top 20 crypto, like DeFi crypto. You can see that it has a 101% increase over the last month in terms of TVL. That is something that is very, very exciting and something that shows you there's a lot of interest, not just in Solana, but the projects being built on the blockchain. In addition to this, when you click a little bit further, you go deeper into the Solana blockchain, you can see there's been a massive changes in terms of just the specific projects as well, where you can see the from Orca to Lido to uh, MarginFi, all of these projects have seen massive increase in terms of TVL, and we're just expecting this to continue to increase. When you're looking at in terms of the traditional finance space, Kathy Woodnark Invest came out and said that she's actually very bullish on Solana, and she thinks Solana is doing a really good job. Solana has surged, you know, more than 3x throughout the year. And she said in an interview with CNBC that she really does like Solana. And while there has been a lot of downtime, while the network has been down more than, let's say, Ethereum, the thing is, it is something that people are willing to put up with because the transaction sizes are not as large, maybe not as important, but also because people looked at Ethereum and originally as a faster and cheaper Bitcoin. Solana is faster and cheaper than Solana. So she said people have been able to put up with the downtime, the outages with Solana because they know ultimately it's faster and cheaper than Ethereum. And if you're in the crypto space, you want to be able to send money. You want to be able to make transactions. You want to do these things faster and cheaper. That's the name of the game. And that is exactly what Solana does. So while there have been outages and I've been doubtful of Solana in the past, I personally do like Cardano a bit more than Solana. But when you're looking at it overall, we're seeing that a lot of institutional investors are keeping their eyes on Solana. And that is something that you do like to see as an investor because you like to see where the big money is going. Because ultimately, even if something's a bit faster, a bit cheaper, if they're next to identical or very, very comparable, if you see one project get a lot more attention from big money players, that project has an upper hand. It has an advantage. And that's what we've seen with Solana. Last thing I do want to go over with Solana is just going to be in terms of active users. Solana recently surpassed Ethereum in terms of active users after it saw a 70% spike. So Solana is not ranked number one. We still see that Polygon, you know, a layer two project on the Ethereum blockchain has seen more unique active users um, in a single day. Polygon is still the winner in terms of that. And Avalanche, is uh, Polygon is still the winner in terms of that. But you can see Solana is a close number two. You can see on this chart right here that Polygon is 371,000 um, active users as of, let's say, November 11th on that particular day. Solana had 356,000 and Ethereum had 329,000. So these three are the key, the clear winners in terms of people actually using the blockchain, what people are 
engaging with because it's nice to see a project, you know, market cap increase, a lot of money come into it. But ultimately, the thing that matters long term is which ones are people using? Because if people aren't using a blockchain, aren't playing games on it, aren't interacting with it, it doesn't matter how much money comes into a project because long term, what's going to succeed is what people use. So that is exactly what we're seeing with Solana um, right now. So again, you guys know I talk a lot about Polygon. I talk a lot about Cardano and Solana on the channel. And it's like, nice to see that these are the ones that are seeing the most interaction, the most active wallets. So right now, there's a lot to be excited about in the crypto space. The major catalyst that I'm expecting to push the market to the next level is that we need to see Bitcoin break through that 37,500 on the weekly charts. Once we do see that happen, if we have a Bitcoin ETF approval or you know an Ethereum ETF approval, these are going to be other major positive catalysts that can propel Bitcoin higher and maybe see us break all-time highs for Bitcoin into 2024.